Now, from the studios of Into Tomorrow in Miami, this is ITTV. Now, we've come across a new consumer wearable device that promises to reduce stress and improve sleep. We welcome our next guest from New York here on Into Tomorrow to tell us all about it. He's the co-founder and CEO of Feel More Labs, Francois Cress. Francois, welcome Into Tomorrow. How are you, sir? I'm great. Thank you so much for having me today. It's a pleasure to have you. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, the company Feel More Labs, and then let's get into Cove in particular. Yes, and we, we named it Fillmore because we are trying and we succeeded so far um, developing technologies which help people to feel more and by feeling more, feeling better uh, in their everyday life. And, and our first product called Cove uh, was developed with this intention based on neuroscience. It's basically a small wearable that you put around your ears on the back of your head and will provide uh, vibrations very specific vibrations behind your ears, which uh, trigger a part of your brain, which will reduce your stress and help you sleep better. So in a nutshell, that's what it does. Very simple. You can go on with your life, do something else while you wear it, 20 minutes at a time. It's going to provide these super specific uh, science proven vibrations which trigger deep parts of your brain, which are involved in anxiety reduction. Now, to those listening on the radio that haven't seen the video yet, be sure to visit intotomorrow.com because Francois is showing it. Very small, looks like a very lightweight device, does it not? It is. It's very comfortable, actually. You forget even that you're wearing it. Um, it's The vibrations themselves are extremely light. Uh, then you barely perceive them. Then it's a very nice experience. And again, the beauty of it, it's perfect, particularly effortless. All you have to do is put it on and turn it on. You don't have to do anything specific while you wear it, uh, contrary maybe to other very effective uh, solutions like meditation or others, but they require time and effort. That doesn't. So, Francois, how is it that the cove actually reduces stress and improves sleep? I mean, I know you mentioned the vibration and apparently at the right frequencies, it's doing its job. How does that work? It works because in your skin, you have uh, little sensors which are built in, in every of us, and large uh, mammals as well. And those are there to detect something called affective touch. Um, we are all equipped with that. That's what makes uh, the mother-child relationship so special. It's a very light, slow pressure, low pressure, slow motion touch, which actually connects your skin to your part of your brain, which tell you to that you are in a safe place, that you can relax, and it generates you know, the chemistry which is uh, uh, involved in your brain to re reduce stress and anxiety. Then basically, we, uh, we crack that nerd, which was not so easy, but to replicate the exact vibration which will activate those receptors. And those receptors in turn will tell your brain, you are safe, relax. And all that happens behind the scene. You don't have to think about it. It's happening without you knowing. And in order to be effective, you mentioned how long each day, and is it something we would do each day uh, and at a particular time, always each day? Does that matter? It, it does matter. Regularity, like everything, like learning a new skill or when you go to the gym, it's better to go at least, you know, from time to time yeah. if you want to build muscle. Here you are building new connections in your brain over time. And daily is recommended. You can do it more. There's no risk. We have been... Uh, performing a lot of safety uh, studies, then you can do it 10 times a day, if you will. Uh, but let's say on average, we notice that our users use it twice a day. Um, it doesn't have to be at the same time. It's usually easier when you want to establish a routine to do something every, every day at the same time. A lot of people enjoy doing it before bed because that's when they notice the highest uh, sleep benefits. Yeah. Uh, but you can do it before a stressful event. Like if I am anxious, but like speaking in public with you, I may use it just 20 minutes before coming on stage uh, and will feel much less uh, nervous, maybe the knot in my stomach will disappear, you know, then there are different types of use. That sounds interesting. And, and I like that whole concept about even getting rid of a little bit of anxiety. Uh, now, the yeah. fact that it's vibrating, you mentioned vibrating slightly. Uh, does that mean that it might be difficult if we're trying to use it maybe while we're working at the computer, the screen's going to feel like it's moving or trying to watch television? You should just put it on, I guess, close your eyes and relax. 
It's an excellent question. And actually, the, the, I would be very happy to provide one for you just to try on. Those vibrations are so subtle and light that definitely nothing moves oh, around. It's yeah. a gentle, to the point that you barely even feel them. You have to concentrate. Then what do we, you don't need to close your eyes and focus on it. All you need to do is wear it and let, let them do their job while you, and, and by the way, you mentioned working on your computer. A lot of, we have a lot of anecdotal evidence and we are performing studies on it now that people who are focusing on a task which requires really all their attention do that much better while they wear the device and get those vibrations. And it actually provides you almost this tunnel vision uh, which allows you to focus on a particular task. Some people who play chess will tell us, I play chess better while I wear it. And wow. we see a lot of other benefits shaping up, you know, and we need obviously much more data to draw any conclusion. Mm -hmm. But it's very interesting to see that once you distress, once you put your brain in that place, a lot of other things align and come into play. Well, that's it. that's interesting, and I'm glad you indicated that it's so subtle that it's not like shaking your head, uh, because the only relation that I had to that and what made me think of it is uh, after a month in the hospital with the Rona, uh, you know, I, I continue to have some neck and back pain and that kind of thing. So someone gave me a neck pillow that vibrates. Very nice, you know, it's very comfortable, but boy, if I'm trying to watch TV, forget trying to look at the computer, everything is kind of shaking, you know. <laughs> it works well to help with the neck, but Otherwise, I can't be doing it while I'm watching something or looking at a screen. So I'm glad to know that uh, Cove is not uh, doing that. What's the impetus, uh, Francois, behind you developing this? Well, uh, long story short, I'm a scientist by training a long time ago. And in the meantime, I worked for a long time in fashion by accident and stayed uh, in that field for nearly 30 years. But I always kept a foot in, uh, in science. Uh, uh, and I love when science can become useful, obviously, to people. Uh, and even more when, you know, having worked in luxury and fashion, when it can become a, an exciting product, uh, a high value product. Then when uh, this project was brought to me about four years ago, um, I saw a group of scientists, very talented, who didn't really know how to approach it to make it a workable solution. Uh, then combining my, you know, uh, long experience in selling better products to the world uh, with great science. We kind of click together to make a product which we believe looks good, is very usable, is very light, uh, and, and provides an incredible service because especially and completely coincidentally, in those days of pandemic, uh, stress has been higher than ever, sleep yeah. issues have been there. And again, we started way before, but it happens that we are helping a lot of people uh, uh, go through all these uh, terrible events uh, in a better way. Yeah, that's even more important these days, I think. As you say, if you've been working on it since pre-pandemic, it's not something that popped out of the woodwork, if you will, because of the pandemic. But it's kind of a an extra feel-good benefit <laughs> that Cove uh, can help folks, too. You talk a lot about, about the, uh, the science behind Cove. Uh, what about some of the studies behind it, too? Because I know you said you've been validated uh, in several different ways just to give people a little more peace of mind. Yeah, absolutely. And we wanted to really uh, perform enough studies to validate the technology from a scientific standpoint before putting it out. Uh, because, um, you know, you can make a lot of claims uh, <laughs> based on what you believe, but we wanted to make sure that we were, first of all, not putting people in danger in any way, and we don't. And also that we had enough evidence that it was better than flipping a coin, you know, when uh, when you put that on your head, you certainly have many more, uh, much more, ch many more chances to sleep better than not. Um, yeah. And as everything in neuroscience, those studies have been performed over like 3,500 people over the past four, four years, a little more now. Oh. All kind of studies we have done brain imaging and looking what happens in your brain while you wear this device and after and over a 30 days period. We have looked at, we have done EEG, MRI. We have done like the typical neuroscience studies, which consist in uh, having you wear the device uh, over a period of time, every day, twice a day, and filling questionnaires and being asked questions by people. We have done placebo, double-blinded studies, and uh, our active form. We are in talks with the FDA, by the way, now for potential clearance for actual medical conditions. 
um, then we have done it right, to be honest. We spent more money and more time than probably anybody else in the field to have the confidence to say that it's working. But like everything which has to do the with the brain, when you say it's working, there is already a small portion of people for which it may not work. Sure. Uh, and uh, in our case, it's a vast majority. We are talking about 95% of people who report benefits, which makes us extremely happy uh, because a lot of uh, neuro technologies don't work that well. Yeah. And unfortunately, we've dealt with some over our many years on the air that not only don't work at all, but you learn later that it was more of a, a, you know, a come on or a product to try to just get you to spend some money. So I'm very impressed with the research and the science behind Cove. So uh, congratulations uh, on all of that. How does it differ, though, you think, from other wearables? Because we talk a lot about wearables these days and cover a lot of health tech uh, relating to everything from smart watches and, and various uh, fitness bands and, and all that sort of thing. Uh, some that help out a lot, some that people say, I, I can't live without it. Uh, hopefully they'll do the same thing with Cove. Wow, this is great. You know, I, it helps uh, in various ways. Uh, it, how is it different otherwise? Yes, and I think here it's, it's very interesting because we're bringing a new paradigm. I mean, all the uh, fitness trackers or wearables you are mentioning are mostly, or all of them, are basically taking information from your activity and your body. It's uh, taking your heart rate, your steps, your temperature. I mean, there are many ways, and some are extraordinarily helpful for diagnosis purpose, even on the medical side, or helping you yourself know yourself better. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what it does. But you still have to go through a few steps. You have to look at data, usually on an app, and then you have to make decisions based on this data on what you are going to do with it. You know, am I going to walk more, eat less, do this, do that? What we do is the exact opposite. We have a device which is writing in your nervous system. It's providing info information to your nervous system to tell your brain to relax. Therefore, you don't have to look at any data. You can if you want. We are providing an app too, but it's optional. Uh, the, the device is active versus passive. You are becoming okay. passive, whereas with traditional trackers, you have to be active. But I think we are reversing the dynamic and the relationship with wearables, removing another, another layer of pot potentially stressful experience in current trackers. You tend to be stressed by data that uh, forces you to be on your phone and look at more data and interpret them and think <laughs> about it. Then, yeah. I love them because I'm a runner and I have all kinds of wearables because they are very helpful when it comes to performance. But I'm not sure that they all help you relax. They tend sometimes to even add to your anxiety because you have to think about yet something else and another performance measurement of your life, yeah. as if we didn't have enough for it. Well, that's good. I think that's terrific that you that you have an app that could give you more info if you want it, but you don't yeah. need to do it and you don't need to be reading something while you're trying to relax because you're not relaxing that way. So that's exactly. terrific. Is Cove available now? Where does one get it and how much in U.S. dollars? Then Cove is, has been available for three months now uh, solely on our website, uh, philcove.com. It's sold uh, for $490 uh, at this point. Okay, $490 at feelcove.com, F-E-E-L-C-O-V-E.com. Of course, we'll get you to Francois's website as well when you visit us and come see the video so you see how cool this is at intotomorrow.com. Francois Cress, the co-founder and CEO of Feel More Labs. We thank you for spending a few minutes with us and let's stay in touch by all means. I'll take you up on your offer to try one. Uh, because I could use anything I could use at this point to, to relax and feel less stress and, and help recovery, if you will, from this you know, post-COVID brain of mine and everything else going on, still dealing with uh, vocal cord issues, among others, in my line of work. Anything to relax is helpful. So we wish you well and look forward to talking with you again soon. Thank you so much, Dave, and we'll send you one. Terrific. Thank you. My pleasure. Again, feel cove. Dot com. Very easy to get to. And I guess, of course, we will get you there, too. And you'll uh, see what Francois is dealing with on a regular basis and how easy it is to mellow out for a change. Boy, I'm looking forward to that. It clearly is different than other wearables and, and no stress. So check it all out. Feelcove.com. I'm Dave Graveline. We're back with more bringing you further into tomorrow. Stay tuned right here 
on the Advanced Media Network.